Alright. Like I said, I did a review of this in my everyday carry bag, EDC bag. Here it is. It's a Rothko tactical bag. It's got a bunch of pockets. Pocket here. Open. Stuff in it. Pocket there. Water bottle thing. Big open pocket here. Little slide pocket. Slide the knife down into when you're out in the woods. Little side pocket here. Cell phone, radio, GPS. Here. Another pocket. I don't know what you put in there because it runs all the way over into here. But that's what it is. Shoulder strap. Yeah. Tried on it. Carries very good. It's been a while since I shot a video, so. Anyway, to show you what I carry, every not every day, uh, but my daily thing, I never know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, weekends, I mean the family walk, we go for hikes in the woods. Uh, we don't have a car, so we walk a lot of places. So, you wouldn't believe how far some of it we walk. Uh, some days it's up to 10 miles. We leave in the morning, we get home in the evening, have a lot of fun. Spend a lot of time with the kids, do things. Start off, start with this outside pocket here. Uh, stuff I've put in here today. And uh, let's see what I did put in here. First aid kit, got band aids, uh, tweezers, triple biotics, hand sanitizer, just small little things like that. Got this at Dunham's. It's a lifeline. Uh, was a lifeline first aid kit. I added some things to it that didn't fit back in here. So good kit to start it off with. Kind of, and we'll go over what was originally in this and then another kit. Uh, so there's that. That's on this outside pocket. And there's still plenty of room in this pocket for anything else I might want to add. And you can see how big that is. And my hand is pretty big. You figure from tip of my fingers to about here six inches. So about four inches. I could still add something else in there if I wanted to. Okay, now we'll go to this one here. This is uh, another waterproof case. Uh, Outdoor Products makes this. And it's got a fire kit in it. Cotton, a little multi tool that I have here. Neither. Yeah, this cotton's been in uh, Vaseline. Uh, a little multi-tool. Uh, I think I got this when I bought a flashlight. I think it came with the flashlight, if I remember right. I still have the flashlight, but I don't use it. It's somewhere around here. And then I have a little thing here. It's got matches in it. Uh, little thing I got. It's waterproof. It actually had a... Uh, uh, a device in there, like a continuity tester in it. So, it just closes up like that. It clamps down. And that's one thing I got in, that's on the very top there. At the back of the pair. This is actually the top of the bag. It fits in there pretty good, and this has a little clip on it. So, if you Wanted to just clip it on your belt loop and carry it can. Okay. Now uh, we have a side pocket now. Here. Side pocket. I'll go through this little kit here with you. This is actually one of them silicone bracelets. Uh, some local kid had a fundraiser, he has cancer. His, uh, he got camouflage, so it was fundraising. They did these. Pretty nice little deal. And here I've got this coming that other kit. No flashlights, not very bright. Uh, get it turned on here. So it's not very bright in a dark room. Another fire kit. We've got a tea candle and a couple cotton balls. I got my 
more band-aids never have too many of them uh, rescue whistle uh, waterproof matches So that's the only thing I have in there right now. I'm going to expand this kit probably in the future. This tin I'm using here is actually pretty thick as you can see. And for some reason now it won't close. Let's turn that the other way see if that works. Oh, that'll work better. This just had uh, atomic fireballs in it. I found it some years ago. Kip it around, just throwing junk in it, chain and stuff. And, uh, come in handy for that. And I just used a strap to help keep it closed. And in that pocket there, as you can see, another little pocket to put something in. I ain't got nothing in there yet, but it'll have something in there soon. Like I said, cell phone pocket. A big pocket back here. That's got couple of velcro uh, strips in it so uh, I don't know what exactly that's for but maybe an, a gun a gun in there uh, anyways okay that's the outside pocket it's got a nice big clip on here so clips you got a little big o-ring big d-ring here pull down on tighten it down here, like I say, the inside pocket here. I keep my ID for work in there. And then more stuff to work in this pocket here. But it's a big pocket. And, you know, paperwork, flashlight, ink pens, screw, small screwdriver. Decided I'd throw it in there for, I don't know. In case I need it. A notepad, pencil, an ink pen has got multi colors to it, black ink pen, notepad. A clip in here too for whatever you want to clip there for a flashlight or something. And that's just what I, I use it for. Again, a big pocket here. This big pocket. And it's got a pocket inside there too. It's got two pockets actually. One's netted. Both the, one's netted. One ain't. And it's kind of hard to hold it up so the camera can see it. But there, um, what I'm gonna put in here. I don't have a jacket. It's summertime here. And I'm in southern Indiana. Uh, sometimes the nights get cold after a good rain or something. So little fleece jacket I'm going to pack in there later uh, other than that I paid uh, $33 for this bag uh, from Dan's Depot uh, seen their advertisement on thought, hey that bag might work for what I want if not I can carry it for back and forth to work and uh, on the outside I have a face shield for work that I have to wear at work when I'm doing certain things and uh, I thought, well, I'll pay the $33, see what it's like, see how it comes out. The review was actually pretty accurate on it. I really do like it. I got it today, and Mel was happy to get it. I also ordered wherever it's at here. I have it. Here it is behind me. Uh, from them, I got a Mora knife. And I took this knife out earlier, just chopping with it, uh, stuff, seen the review on this, seen a lot of guys using these for bushcraft. Thought, wow, I'll, get, I'll buy that $13. That's a pretty good deal. I paid more for knives that were junk. So for $13, good buy. I really don't like the plastic case, but I do see the point of it. More rugged than some of my other ones. But I carry this stuff in the bag. A few more things I want to add in here uh, that I do carry on my person every day. I got this the other day too. I ordered this. This is the 
CRKT minimalist knife. Uh, didn't order this from Dan's, but I did. I did find a company and I ordered it. Very impressed with it. Got a nice little put 550 cord on there. Just a little knot in the back to hold it. Uh, been wearing it today. I have another neck knife. Uh, it's a lot bigger than this. I'll show it here in a second. And I did. I do. I carry a lot of knives. And I don't know why, but it's just me. Uh, where's the other one? Here's another one I carry. It's about got a belt clip on there. Uh, like plastic case. I don't know if it's Kydex it's, or what it is, but it's plastic knife. It's a Master Tech or M Tech, I think it was. It actually falls under, but it says Master on the blade right there. I don't know if you can see it. But it says Master. Nice little knife. It's my utility knife. I use it for everything. Uh, another multi-tool I carry with me. It's a SOG. I don't know which version of it is. Let's see if I can see here. It just says SOG Crosscut. It's got a few things on it there. I got the blade. Tweezers. Right here. And a flathead screwdriver on the other side. <clears throat> Small screwdriver. Use it for something. I use it for cleaning my teeth. And then of course got a fingernail file and there was another tool in here that I took out. So these were, the screw had broken this. So I just pop riveted it in. So that was re that's really nice. I think I traded a junk knife for this. Use it a lot. Uh, another thing I bought that I really enjoy is a Gerber Infinity. This is a cool little flashlight. I added a silver tape right in here. Uh, just to make it more reflective uh, but it's really bright it shines about no, 20-30 feet runs on a double A battery uh, just twist the back cap comes on goes off really like that uh, couldn't figure out why they had the clip on it the way they did There's a little clip right here I couldn't figure out why that was on there like that and I put my hat on clipped it on my hat shook my head around and uh, they actually work pretty good. Just put on your hat and walk around with. I think it'd be pretty good. Another knife that I ordered. Some of you guys probably seen it. It's the CRKT uh, Doug Ritter knife MK5. I love this little thing. I put I got rid of they had a long cord on it. I didn't care for that, so I put some black pair cord. Did a I think it's called a Cobra stitch on the back of it so it gives your hand something to hold on to when you're using the knife. Me when I skin an animal I normally have a knife like this anyway to give me more control over when I'm skinning the animal but really good. Uh, and they came very sharp. Both of them from uh, CRKT did. Another knife that I carry daily and I carry this one pretty much wherever I go because I really like this one. It's Master, m -Tech Master, I think it is. Uh, I really love this knife. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the way it fits in my hand or what, but I do like the way it, it's a pretty comfortable knife. And I wrapped the handle in some uh, green utility cord. I tried paracord. I felt it was kind of bulky. This is just some utility cord I bought at the local Armature Plus. It works really good. Used it for... I got a paracord, a bracelet I made with it. Uh, you think I used about 15 feet of it in that for a tread bar uh, type braid. But I do like this, this knife. I don't know why I like the way it feels in my hand. And it's good beat around knife. Another knife I carry is the Kershaw. Uh, this one actually came from Walmart. It was with a kid of some, I got a flashlight, an ink pen, and this knife. I have no complaints about this knife. I use it probably more than I use any other knife, especially at work, uh, unwrapping pallets. But I carry that. It carries on the side of my pocket with a little clip here. There's a little clip. I carry it all the time. Uh, actually,
Okay, it's always on the right hand. Yeah, right hand side. Another knife I carry is a Gerber. I bought this one. Uh, yeah, this is a Gerber. Sorry, I have to think about what my knives are. Uh, I've had this one for four or five years. I use it a lot. It's small. Uh, I'll use it camping. I use it uh, out in the. I'll use it out in the woods for different things. It's not a spring assist, but it's a good little knife. I use it some at work too, depending on what I'm what I'm doing. Uh, I have to constantly sharpen them because I work in an industry with where I machine a lot of metal. So uh, cutting unwrapping pallets, you hit the sometimes you hit the metal when you're cutting the wrap or hit the metal strap. Yeah, doll them up pretty quick. Uh, another thing I carry with me, I, I bought I don't know, a kit that came and had three or four of these at the local tractor supply. A little LED flashlight. Uh, this one's black. Runs on, a, I want to say two triple A's. I might be wrong. Yeah, two triple A's. It's just LED. A little push button switch on the back. Uh, this one actually is pretty bright. I use this at work. To, when I got in the bag, you saw the blue mag light. It's LED. Kind of stupid though. It has a high, medium, and low setting, and then it has a, an SOS, and it has the flash. Don't see the point in that. I think I can do SOS pretty good. Uh, and the cell phone, which is nothing special. Uh, I think that's pretty much all I carry. I don't have nothing else behind me here on the bed carry a lot of stuff don't know why but I do uh, some of this stuff get some of the stuff will get thrown into that bag uh, for everyday carry I work it's about 30 miles from work and uh, I catch a ride back and forth to work so it's kind of my everyday carry slash when when it hits the fan I gotta be able to make it home so that'll kind of help me make it home uh, I know, already know the general direction. I really don't need a, a map or a compass. I know pretty much every road. Uh, I grew up around this area, so for roughly 50 miles around, if I get dropped off, I can make it home in a couple of days. If something happened, I had to make it home from where I work at. Uh, it would take uh, taking the highway. It would take me about 10 hours to walk it. I know that because I have walked it before. I walk steady pace. Uh, if it hit the fan, I probably wouldn't walk on the road, though. There is a railroad bed that leads out of town. I uh, I would probably take it and walk it uh, all the way home, which probably would cut off a couple hours. Uh, I know there's some creeks and stuff I'd have to probably... I don't know if the trussles are still there because they took the railroad tracks out, so I don't know if I'd walk it. Try to be able to walk across or swim. Uh, some of the places there I don't... I've never been to, so I don't know if the water is deep or if it's shallow. It depends on what time of year it is. It might be froze over. So I would be able to at least get home to the family and do something from there, uh, whatever it may be. So it's kind of, like I say, it's kind of my everyday carry slash get home bag. Uh, that's one reason the fire stuff's in here, in case I have to do something. You know, be able to, if I can't make it home in 10 hours and got to sleep, I can... At least have a fire for the night keep warm uh, one another reason for the coat uh, winter time I'll probably put some different stuff in there I'm probably gonna go buy a poncho and put in there uh, that's all I can really think of to put in there I uh, probably some, I know I put some snacks in there of course if it hit the fan I would probably just uh, raid the snack machine at work but you never know what the situation is going to be uh, and like I say me and the family we do a lot of we like going out in the woods a lot kids love it they love fishing hiking they like do eat wild animals we don't I don't do a lot of hunting like I want to but I get the chance I'll do some uh, one day soon here hopefully we'll be hunting every season but who knows so that's the bag uh, oh some other knives I have just give you an idea this one here good skinning it looks like it'd be a good skinner I haven't got a chance to use it yet uh, I have no idea who makes this knife. A tractor Supply carried it. Uh, it is a very, very heavy knife. If I can't kill a deer with it, 
I can just beat it to death with it. That's how heavy this thing is. I've never seen had a knife this heavy. But it does fit good in the hand. Uh, I won't knock it. Uh, it's actually it takes a it can take. I think it could take some abuse uh, with the weight of the blade. It's a pretty thick blade, as you can see, compared to my fingernail. And it's probably I don't know, almost probably a quarter inch thick blade. It seems like. Uh, I've not measured it, so I don't know for sure. So, but that's that knife. Comes with a neoprene case. I don't care for this case. It's a neoprene. Uh, I can see it not holding up under a lot of use. I can see it tearing out. So, I have plans to get a better case for this. But for right now, it's what I have. Keep it from cutting me up. Another knife I have. It says this is a survival knife. I, I guess if you had to use it, you could. It's a it just says survivor on it, as you can see. You got this uh, a couple years ago. It had a cheap cord on the handle. This is a utility, same utility cord I used before. Uh, it fits real good in the hand. I guess it'd be a good combat knife if you had to fight somebody. Uh, the case here that fell, it, it's just a, a webbing. Nothing fancy. Just a webbing belt loop. Uh, had a fire a striker here, which I do have on my keychain now. Here's another knife I have. Uh, I think it was Appalachian Trail. Yeah, Appalachian Trail knife. As you can see right there. It says it on there. Uh, it had a piece of brass here. It went from here back to here. On each side of the blade, it made the blade made the knife very very heavy. And I didn't like that, so I took it off. And it had wood handles on it. They didn't feel right, and then when I took the brass off, of course, they didn't come all the way out here to the end. So I said, all right, we'll just take it off here. We'll just wrap it with utility cord and make a good little knife. Makes it made it probably, I'd say, a pound lighter. Uh, so that's just some of the stuff I have. Uh, I have compasses and stuff like that. I do have radios. One thing I don't have really is a uh, little mess kits and stuff like that, which I'm working on for a buck out bag. So that's uh, about it there. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, plan on doing some more. Me and a friend are going to do some bushcraft. We're going to set some stuff up here in the yard here in probably uh, a few more weeks out. Uh, I've got to get things together for me. Uh, between work and everything it's kind of hard uh, you know wife kids everything so it, it is what it is and we'll, uh, we'll get her done so that's all I have